welcome back to my YouTube channel where everything is rainbow. I am Satems, I smell, I feel, I breathe color. I'm not sure what the phrase dropping out means to you, but to me, it's a, it's a different experience. It, it brings back different memories. But now that I've made peace with the story, I think I'm very ready to, to share it with you. Ultimately, I'll be sharing my story of the reasons why I dropped out of <clears throat> college and then share a few words, like a few motivation, motivational words to those who are thinking about it or have done it or think will never do it. Before I get into the story, I am on a road to a thousand. I'm repeating this for the 31st time or the 32nd, 29th, it doesn't matter. On the road to a thousand. Kindly, kindly, if you are brand new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and click that about button so that you can get your instant notifications. And to those that have been, oh, you've done this, you are there, Mwah. thank you so much, beautiful. Let me take you right back to matric so that you can understand the story. So when I was in matric, oh, fabulous time of my life. I really, really, really did enjoy it. I can't, I wouldn't even say it was a peak. Matric for me was an idea of if you really want it, you can go and get it. During matric, I, oh, I was head of my school. That was a goal, so that was beautiful. I even was part of a team that hosted a fashion show that was always something that I wanted to do. So that was a, a tick on my personal bucket list beyond just the teams. Coming to Johannesburg when I was matric for a scholarship competition, that was also fabulous, we won that. That was, it was such a good time. It was very, very nice. There were a few rejections, but I got what I really wanted, which was my dream college to study at a performing arts college in Cape Town or to study law slash accounting at one of the university applied to. And I did get one of, I, I, get, I got both. So I had the beautiful options. So it was a matter of which one we want. Okay, listen. The other one, I really love the theory and the academics and the numbers and the possibilities and what I could do with law and accounting um, in terms of my future. But I also don't feel like I cannot not learn about it. So I just felt, you know, sometimes once it makes sense for you to delve even deeper into law and accounting, if you're looking into building businesses, then we can try and educate ourselves. And obviously, if I want a business, I'll probably will be able to afford someone that is qualified and has that knowledge and went to school of all that and we can culminate our brains and build this business with the lawyer and with the accountant and everything finance if you get what i'm saying but when it comes to art i just felt like if i don't study art if i don't take this opportunity to 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 just give it the time that it requires then i will drop from art that was my and that was my biggest fear that I will never connect to art the way I was that I was connected to in high school, um, or rather the way I've been connecting to art in my growing up phase. So it, it's honestly, it was, it, it was clear for me, okay, babes, you went to Johannesburg you, for a, a art competition, it was dance, and you won that. You have money to continue, and also I had a scholarship in high school that was like, sitems, we will support your dream wherever you continue. So I was like, okay, there are people that are going to assist me, and then my mom as well was, it's in, we'll cover up whatever needs to be patched. So that was like sorted, whereas I felt like for the academic degree, it was, I'm just going to be doing this because I can because my mind is able to just ingest this knowledge. Anyway, let me move this from that. I chose art because it makes the most sense and there's no way I can escape, there's no way I can escape art. There's absolutely no way. Oh, ultimately, matric was a fabulous time. It was beautiful, amazing people, loved my school, um, loved everything I could do at school. It was busy, it was frantic and with family it was a vibe with the dreams things were moving everything made sense and i was so ready for 2018 because for me that was the year where everything begins so it's 2018 the 20th of january it's the morning it's orientation and school begins the life of Wearing that uniform is over. Now we begin wearing our clothes, get to class, and really start working towards 
What's in your When heart? I arrived at school, oh, before I even talk about school, I studied dance. Well, I studied performing arts and there was dance involved, which was the dominant factor or dominant art form that we did in like there were so many different from ballet to contemporary to hip hop to jazz so we focused on a dance in our performing arts institution but we also did drama which was a big factor my favorite factor oh my gosh and then we did a bit of singing then there, there and other elements that really would help you as an artist after you finish school so it was really a beautiful experience so like the beginning of the year just made sense. It just made sense. As nice as things were, I did feel a little bit in balance day by day. And a lot was changing and I could notice with myself because when I started the year, I used to arrive 15 minutes before and I was very excited. And as the year was going along, I started arriving on time. And the year went by and it was 10 minutes late. 15, just 30, could be an hour, uh, playing around, honestly. And deep down, I wasn't bothered, but I was also bothered. It, I, I was bothered that I wasn't scared to be late anymore. I was bothered that it didn't matter, that I was gonna miss this part of the class as if it's not important. For me, that didn't make sense, if that. And the other things that I've left home, I've left home from the beginning of the year, I'm living alone and I'm starting this whole life. I'm in college, I live with someone, I share in the room. What that I need to deal with and in a different space. There's a lot of adjusting basically that I'm talking about um, that I, I was going through. And during my adjustments, there were things that I was adjusting to that I didn't like, that I did like, that I had to make work because that's how adjustment goes, right? But school just wasn't making sense. Not in the idea of the institution or the building itself, but How do I explain it? Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't making sense, it's just spiritually I wasn't involved. <sighs> it was... <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It was so much for me that I extracted myself from society in oh, i know it sounds so deep a society but i wasn't i wasn't engaging with friends i wasn't engaging with family and at school i just went in and i was out when it was time i, I wasn't interested i was just doing what i needed to do so that i i can pass or whatever that wherever we're going with this kind of vibe that was my attitude and i was not comfortable with that i know that <laughs> it was only high school and as a human being, that's all I've had access to prior to being to college. So in terms of experience, but in high school, I was so into things, everything, all the time. Even the things that I was lacking, I was just like, oh, pff, I hope I improve by coming to class. And I hope that's enough. And I know as a dancer that that's not enough. There's more that you need to put into the artistry, especially like it's an investment that I was not investing in. Okay, just to crunch it up, essentially. With the whole dropping out, I, I would say I dropped out specifically purely because my spirit, my energy was not balancing and it was just not getting there. And the more I felt like it should and I can and I can try, it was just like it's not happening. And also I was just not liking, I was starting not to like dance, which is not... Which is not a true feeling. It's not a true feeling. I know it's not a true feeling. And definitely was not a true feeling. Um, and it was not this... I don't think it was the institution itself. No, definitely not. It's just for me, each institution has its own vision, mission, and what it goes about. You as an individual go to it to be ready to be led by how they lead. You know what I'm saying? And I think for me... I'd, I mean, I've never been there. It was a trial and error kind of vibe where I'm going to go into this institution and I'm hoping that it, it does the damn things because it does do the damn things and it still does, but it wasn't a space for me. When I thought about everything, 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 everything and what it's going to affect because it was going to affect the scholarship that I won the previous year. Um, it was going to affect the, the scholarship that has taken me through high school. It was going to affect, affect the scholarship that I got from college itself. I got, that was three scholarships. And then my mom. It, 
yeah yeah and then also just the people like the teachers that has helped me within the journey of dance and performing arts and availing opportunities for me i thought about everyone and i and i felt to myself i'm not leaving art and it's not the end of art i'm very young there's so much to learn there's so much to discover but i do also feel there's so much to give and in terms of how i want to give and how i want to tackle this whole art dream this was not the space so i shall communicate and i communicated one by one with the people but for me it was the end i was like i know dropping out is going to be hectic within all of these relationships and all of these relationships are going to affect me in terms of, because these are the people that were financially making sure i move so now if i that's cutting all ties all ties and all i'm left with is my side hustle actually i did a side hustle video and i'm gonna recommend it to you you can go check it out that's the things i was doing during college and after the dropout so it was a combination so i was fine money wise and the money for my um college dues was absolutely going well but i felt like it i was wasting it so it, it, that was the conversation that I would rather learn and acquire skill that I believe is going to add to where I really want to be and starting a YouTube channel is part of that it's it makes sense I enjoy creating content and just learning about it and where to what heights we can take the channel to and it's personal it's mine I direct it with you which is even better I feel like that kind of communication and that kind of way of building things just makes sense to me so yes I that's why I dropped out I'm we're here today one year eight months later it's been shaky but we're starting to find something to and then also just honestly i think to think about it also i i know when the day i i just called it it's not it's not okay now i'm done i feel like i've communicated to everyone and thank you for your assistance and i'm excited to continue the journey with all the tools that you have given me that day i just felt confident with the the beginning of this hustling and it was also i was like i need to take this journey because i felt like i needed to take this journey of self realization of character and also understand what this character is going to be giving to space to your space before i even end the video <clears throat> before i even end the video i wouldn't necessarily advise dropping out because there's really really a lot that can happen so for me if it's if you're ready for the worst to happen you go for it and the worst could affect you on a different scale because i mean i the money that i was making at work was enough but was not enough to to totally take me over and as much as i calculated how much i needed it was just that i couldn't take it anymore with just everything and i went for it regardless because i was like if i have the time i feel like i'll make a plan which obviously you make the damn plan i i would only advise it if you you go through the conversations with the people that are a part of a part of your learning process like lecturers and you can even go to people that can help you in terms of personal career guidances your parents your friends everyone speak about it i feel like the more you speak about it i didn't speak about it as much as i feel like i should have spoken about it but speak to someone it is not an easy decision but if you're still at school if you're still at school honestly i would advise you stay at school purely purely because i feel like you also need to ask yourself why am i at school why am i at school if you there because you see yourself one day 10 years later in some sort of version of what you're currently doing then it makes so much sense which was the same thing for me but i really wanted to take tackle it in a different way um and also just and it wasn't even institution wise just only for me it was space it was where i was living it was energies it was a culmination of so many things and i was just like it's not working and hence i moved to jobek as instant as that decision was there's a lot of things that boiled to that moment so yeah dropping out it's a, it's a lot think about it do your research and also f see how you can where to next and why and is it sustainable there's a lot of questions um to ask yourself but 
I am here. But speaking of dropping out, speaking of dropping out, initially started university, your college, the university institution, um, because I had a dream, passionate about it, and I saw it one dimensional. When I was in this space and I was exposed to all the things that this space came with, I, I started being able to put it into 3D, and which is also which is also why you you know like I started seeing it in 3D and I could I could I, I could see bigger and other stuff. What I've got to say is follow your voice, have a lot of conversations with it, and be honest with it, and it will give you the answers you need. Nothing is easy, um, and also find guidance. Find guidance, and you will acknowledge and know who you look and listen to, what you read and where and how, and what is your response to those things and if they're leading if, if in some sense or some level it makes sense where everything is leading you shoot and go to me finally 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 i am here today i've made peace with my past because it is my past um and every day of my life i've realized that it's it's a different opportunity to learn and to form a different or go about something or your dream to say another way and it, it, it's almost as me sitting down in front of the phone right now and recording that's something i feel like i have a sense of purpose with this youtube and and there's something that i get to curate because i get to be with you guys my life has really changed after dropping out I can I can share with you life after dropping out I can share with you because that is hectic beyond the moving up and down and going there and there you you've seen that video somewhere on my playlist um but there's also been other factors that are important that will affect you and also how do you stay grounded and above that remember there's no system there's no one telling you what to do how do you create your own system? I have mine, it's um and I, I can share that with you. I'm super happy and I feel like I've I feel so relieved that I have shared the story. It's done, it's over. Let's do YouTube, let's let's move it, girl. Now that I have shot this video, it's such a relief. I'm so glad that I've shared this story with you. Now that I can move on, you know YouTube is the side hustle. Ah, if you're brand new and this is your very first video that you are watching, welcome to the Rainbow family. Otherwise, I am Sitems, darling.